In an earlier video, I talked about assembling effective integration teams. I was asked, how do those ideas change in a serial acquisition environment? There are some additional things to consider when M&A is central to your corporate strategy, and there are several common elements you need to put in place to make sure that you build a thriving environment for your IT integrations. First, you need to create a really good governance model. This allows you to maintain the balance between your integration programs, strategic initiatives, and your ongoing operations requirements. This allows IT to make the best use of its limited resources. You need to have really comprehensive playbooks in place that allow you to take knowledge and lessons learned from previous integrations and share them with new deal teams as they come together. The teams will pull the tools and templates they need from the playbook based on the deal parameters. You also need to make sure you use consistent KPIs or key performance indicators across all of your integration projects. Typical KPIs include tracking your budgets, whether you're meeting your deadlines, and whether you're on target to meet your, to meet your synergy objectives. You need to establish a core M&A team. This team would oversee all of the integration initiatives you have ongoing and provide guidance to the individual teams. They also serve as liaisons between the teams and the integration management offices for each deal. You need to clearly communicate your overall corporate strategy for mergers and acquisitions. This goes beyond just sharing the deal hypothesis. Each deal has its own unique objectives that it has to meet but all of the acquisitions have to fit together like pieces in a puzzle. And if people don't understand the picture that the puzzle represents, there's a lot of decisions they won't be able to make with the best interest of the overall corporate strategy in mind. Whether acquisitions are rare or common in your organization, the central theme is keep your people at the center of your thoughts. If you're, they are the key to your success. If they aren't engaged, if they don't feel engaged, they're going to feel like they're just a cog in the machinery and they're always going to fear getting chewed up in the process. In the description below, there's a link to an article that goes into more depth on this topic. In the comments section below, be sure to share your feedback on this video along with suggestions for future discussion topics. Please do me the favor of liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.